Hey, if you're trying to contact businesses via email, it can be frustrating trying to get these email addresses or type out emails or eat scrapers or whatever. Uh, if you just want a quick, easy way to contact businesses, uh, watch what happens here. Now, I'm on Manta.com. If you find a uh, business that has their email, most of the verified uh, email or verified listings do, what you can do is watch when it happens when I click my little button up here. We're now mailing to, I'm using read notify, so I'm going to be notified when they open their email or read it. So now what happens when I click this? It's clickable, and I'm, since I'm using Gmail, it's going to open in Gmail. But look, I already have an email all ready to go. It already says, quick question, Tom. It mentions his business name, his phone number. Um, came across Drain Dr. Plumbers, Inc. I want to let you know I found a serious problem on your website at... I know you respect a business in Orlando, so please contact me ASAP. And is this the best number? So it's very personalized email. So let's do this again. I'm also going to go. This this system works on four main websites. So first one was Manta. Now we're on uh, Yellow Pages. So if I click the button again, now when I click the email business link here, it's going to open up in my Gmail again. Now it says uh, quick question. Notice it does have the first name because the first name wasn't on the page. It's not available on that website. So, uh, but it also it mentions I know your respected business in Colorado Springs. Uh, I have your phone number here. Here's your website. So another customized email which you can tweak right before you send it off. It's already sent to the right email address. And then finally yellowbook.com. Similar thing. Let's uh, hit the this link again. And now when I hit the email to send the email, it's going to generate an email for this company, Rex's Plumbing and Heating. Uh, there's the website in Fort Collins, and there's the phone number. So, man, with a, in a few seconds, a couple few clicks, I've sent off several. I haven't sent these yet, but generated and quickly sent emails just by clicking uh, an icon. So what you can do is I'm, I've set this up for plumbers. Uh, although this template is very generic, it can work for any business really. But uh, if I go into my, uh, this is a WordPress plugin that generates this. So the way this works is you create your template. You can use spin tax. You can use merge fields for first name, business name. Uh, if you use a read notify service like readnotify.com, you can append that to every email address. Um, otherwise, you just leave that blank. Here are the four websites it works with best. And then once you do that and save it, you're going to get a bookmark. All you have to do is click and drag that up to your tool, your bookmarks toolbar. So now that when, it, when you're on one of these sites, you can click it. Now, if you, I could have easily called this uh, generic because it is a pretty generic template. But if you, you could say things like they're specific for plumbers, and I would naturally I would call it the plumber, a plumber bookmark. Okay, let me show you another cool place. I also have a template here for realtors. Now the difference here is realtors. I'm going to go to realtor.com and I can use the property. Is it in here? Yeah. The property merge field to personalize it for that property. So uh, again, I have the phone number. I have their first name. I'm using spin tax. Uh, just kind of make it unique. You, can, you don't have to use any spin tax, but if you want to try to, uh, you know, shake it up a little bit or make things look more unique, you can do that. Um, but if I go to realtor.com, I can just go here and I can click on pretty much any listing. And most of them will have the listing agent. There's their first name. There's uh, uh, things like their phone number. If I click on email, though, notice you get the form. They don't really give you their email address on the web page here anywhere. But um, what this program or what this, this is designed to do, these buttons, is when I click this, it actually finds their email addresses. These email addresses are are embedded in the the code in HTML and JavaScript of this page. So, in this case, when Realtor.com, it's going to insert these emails here. I'm going to email uh, Lisa here. So um, I know it's not Joe. It's probably Lisa. It could be, you know, uh, this is probably a good one here. So if I click on this. It's going to jump into my Gmail, and you're going to see. Quick question, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. I was looking at your listing for five Heather Circle and had an idea. A uh, little chat with you. Is this your best number? So I grabbed your phone number, that type of thing. So, uh, boom. 
another email done. So uh, uh, this is just a super fast way to contact businesses. Uh, there's another video. I go into more detail and ramble on a bit more, but uh, hopefully this one gives you the idea of what's possible. All right. Thank you.